Before we start, please make my day and hit the subscribe button to see more of my sports videos. The sex affect athletic performance. It is still hard to believe that sex between two consenting adults could somehow be detrimental in any way. In the world of sports and athletics, it has long been the practice of coaches on an amateur or professional level to preach abstinence. The flip side of that coin is that sex before playing in a sport can actually be beneficial for an athlete and enhance their athletic performance. Research, surveys, and other methods of collecting data on the topic is extensive, but really has not produced definitive results supporting either argument. One thing is for certain that both sides can agree. The center of the debate is the big T, testosterone. What does testosterone do? Let us start with a quick refresher about testosterone. Testosterone is a steroid and is the primary sex hormone. Testosterone's main purpose is in the development of the testes and prostate in males. It also is known to promote secondary sexual characteristics such as increased bone and muscle mass and the growth of body hair on males. Testosterone is one of the most commonly used substances used as a doping agent in sports. It is often used as a performance-enhancing drug, but that would indicate that it is not harmful to athletic performances. Athletes have always looked for an edge, physically or mentally, they constantly seek out ways to best their competition. Anger and aggression for sports, especially contact sports like American football, rugby, and boxing, is strongly believed to be the way that athletes can have an advantage over opponents. The prehistoric mindset was that ejaculation of any kind, through masturbation or sexual intercourse, draws away the very testosterone needed for maximum results. Even further to the side of coaches with this philosophy endorsing abstinence is that it will increase sexual frustration and lead to an unlimited amount of aggression. Survey says, researchers and scientists, and for the most part, athletes, have probed and prodded, combed through pages of analysis about sex and its effects on athletic performance. Extensive experiments conducted around the globe have no conclusive evidence that supports either argument that sex detracts or enhances athletic performances. Athletes in similar age ranges, during their sexual and athletic peaks of their careers, have been used as lab rats in an effort for some sort of concrete proof that would vindicate one side or the other of the debates. On average the common age range is 20-40 years old. Abstinence vs Sex Essentially, athletes were asked to abstain from any sort of sexual activity, masturbation, sexual intercourse, or viewing pornography. The participating athletes and their partners were informed of all of the protocols of the experiments, and instructed to proceed as they normally would with their sexual activity together, and to get their normal amount of rest. The athletes were tested with exercise the morning before and after having sexual intercourse with their usual partners. What scientists discovered was not much of a difference, if any, in the athlete's recovery process. Mental and physical testing throughout the day following sexual activity by the athletes involved in the surveys. The physical exercises measured vitals of the participants, such as stress levels and stamina. Mental tests concentrated on monitoring the athlete's ability to maintain their concentration. Regardless of the survey or where it was conducted, the final results of every experiment have produced a lack of evidence that would indicate one way or the other that sex affects athletic performance, positively or negatively. It was widely noted, however, that most scientists share the theory that sex two hours or less before a sporting event can have minor negative effects, mainly slightly lowering the athlete's recovery time. Sex and the World Cup and Olympic Games the World Cup of Soccer and the Olympic Games over the last several decades have been the main source internationally that provokes the debate about abstinence and what effects, if any, it may have on athletic performances. Brazil hosted the 2016 Summer Olympics and simultaneously launched itself into the argument about sex and the athletes. A record was set within the Olympic Village as over half a million condoms were distributed to the over 12,000 athletes in Brazil for the Olympics. Mixed martial arts athletes such as Ronda Rousey and many other famous MMA fighters have admitted not only do they have sex before an important match, some try to have as much as possible. This is mainly in women because it is shown that it will increase the testosterone levels of women, who naturally have significantly less than males. Split Decision 
what is the overall consensus surrounding whether or not sex can have a negative or positive effect on the athletic performance of an athlete? Surveys using the latest technology or the most primitive analysis recovered from decades of research all show little to no decisive answers. Provided an athlete has their normal routine, engages in average sexual activity, and has the proper amount of rest before their scheduled sporting event, preferably more than two hours before, the athlete's performances were not affected. In some cases, the athletic performances were slightly better after athletes had sex prior to their events or matches, but contributed more towards the athlete's mental state than anything else. The two main ingredients involved in sex and athletic performance involve the brain and testosterone. What the overall bottom line is that if the athletes believe that abstinence or having regular sexual activity will boost or harm their performance, then there is no amount of verbiage or data that will invade their minds and sway their opinions unless they allow it to.